Good morning, my name is James Buccini. On this channel, I create content about blockchain development and decentralized finance. I've been a blockchain dev since 2017. I started off working with Truffle, then I moved to Hard Hat, then I went across to Foundry before going back to Hard Hat, and now I use them both on a pretty regular basis. It's not quite as simple as one being better than the other. And in this video, I wanna give you an idea of the different strengths and weaknesses and which is probably better suited to your unique developer needs. First up, we have Hard Hat. Hard Hat is built and maintained by Nomic Labs. It's a JavaScript framework, so you can install it via NPM and run it on Node.js. It's very intuitive, simple to use, and a lot of the unit tests actually kind of look like front-end code because it uses ethers as its kind of internal library for connecting and interacting with smart contracts. If you come from a web dev background, it's a very obvious choice. Then we have Foundry, which is also open source software provided by Paradigm. It's built on Rust and executes unit tests in Solidity. Foundry is actually a collection of tools. So you've got Forge, which is the main kind of testing framework where you'll execute the unit tests from. Then there's Cast, which is used like a command line tool for executing non-chain transactions. Then there's Anvil, which is a local node which runs on your device. In my experience, Foundry actually runs better on Unix-based operating systems. I tend to run it on Windows subsystem for Linux. If anyone's had any luck kind of running it on Windows, it might have been improved since I first started using it. So I'd love to hear from you in the comments. When it comes to usability, they're both command line tools. So you're gonna to have to get used to kind of find your way around a file system and executing commands. Foundry is kind of marketed as the software for professionals or senior Solidity developers. And while it might be somewhat true that it has quite a lot of tools for kind of sophisticated, almost security focused work, I don't think it sh you should be fooled into thinking that it's a more professional framework. In my opinion, it's got kind of a certain quirkiness about it that has unusual naming conventions, and it's more like a personal open source project rather than like a professional framework. Hard Hat tends to be more intuitive, it's less opinionated, it's got more of the feel of something that's been put together by a professional team. When it comes to speed and performance, Foundry is the clear winner. It executes unit tests much faster than Hard Hat. While this might not make a difference on a standard unit test, which only takes a few seconds to run anyway, where it can make a difference is in what it enables Foundry to do. So Foundry, for example, can do like input fuzzing where it's sending random data or kind of max values, min values, and weird data to a input's functions to see if that breaks the contract. The improved performance speed from using Rust on the back end to execute these tests means that you can do more kind of brute force inputs and high volume transactions within a local test environment. If you're trying to decide between Hard Hat and Foundry, then I think a lot of it will come down to your choice of programming language. If you don't know JavaScript, then using Foundry is the obvious choice because you don't have to learn another programming language to write your unit tests. If you're coming from a web dev background and you're already using ethers on the front end, then using Hard Hat means that you can kind of use very similar uh, code on your unit tests to what you're using on the front end, or if you're passing it off the smart contracts to front end developers, you can give them unit tests and it'll kind of give them almost like documentation of that they can copy and paste into their kind of front end code, which is also running on ethers, so they can know how all the different functions within the smart contract work. If you're the kind of person that's brought up writing drivers for Linux from a young age, or you're looking at this from a security focus, and you're kind of doing auditing and smart contract probing and trying to break smart contracts, then I think Foundry is the better option. It's got more tools for that kind of work. Whereas if you're building and you're kind of a web free developer or you're doing Solidity development to build something and you want things like deployment scripts, then Hard Hat is probably the better framework for builders. The final thing I'd say is that you don't have to choose between one or the other. I tend to use Remix for kind of proof of concepts and deploying simple tokens. And then when a project gets too big for Remix, I want to do unit tests on it, I'll move it across to Hard Hat, run my unit tests and uh, deployment scripts in Hard Hat and deploy it and write, run a test from there, kind of the individual function unit tests. And then if it's going to be kind of production level code, I'll move it across to Foundry, where I'll kind of do a separate internal audit and look at it just simply from a security perspective about what can break and what kind of external functions that people can use to manipulate the contracts and the kind of the state logic within the smart contracts. Both of these tools are extremely powerful and if you learn to use them both, it's gonna give you a wider toolkit to use as a blockchain developer. I hope you've enjoyed this video and it's given you some insights into which tool might be better suited to your unique development needs. If you wanna learn more about blockchain development and decentralized finance, then subscribe to the channel, hit the like button for YouTube algorithm, and thank you for watching.